what is up guys welcome back to the channel my name is shane and welcome to another episode here on five star cars the car discussion channel here on youtube where i just give my thoughts and opinions about what's going on in the car community on today's quick episode we're trying to call it is we are just going to cover mr organic i was debating on whether doing a video for but i just wanted to cover it just to see what your guys thoughts and opinions are below as i say guys we're just here to talk and discuss and just opinions that's all it is that's all we do here check out my other videos if you're new please do uh, smash the subscribe button and get involved and even better like button and uh, yeah hopefully as well on this channel our goal is to get a project car and to hit 2000 subs by the end of the year that is our goal and uh, yeah we'll just jump into today's video straight off the bat so um as i said guys i was a bit debating on this one because i know it's a very <laughs> in the comment section get a very heated love hate relationship for mr organic and um I just want to cover just to, to see what we think is going to happen, what's going on. So, so basically, he's made a lot of videos about him saying he's going broke and he's selling this and he's selling that. Uh, this NFT thing is coming out, which is very, very dodgy. I, I really don't think that's that could be a, a rug pull, I feel. Um, and just basically, like, you know, he's gone for his Malibu Mansion and stuff like that. So, you know, we know, look, everybody's covered this. Ice Cream Vlogs has covered this, 1000 HP Media. Um, who else was there? Uh, Spencer Corne Cornelius or Cornelia, I think covered him as well. There's loads and loads of channels out there, so that's why I don't cover them that much. That have way better information than I do. It's just my thoughts and opinions. Uh, so what do you think is going to happen from 2022? Well, we now know. Look, he lied about owning the Malibu mansion. He was renting it for fifteen thousand a month. Fair juice to him. Like I, I, I would give organic that. The way <laughs> to be able to afford this lavish lifestyle, as they call it. Like, I give him props, but it's a bit coincidental that he got all the stuff when the PPP loans came out, you know, and and it is, like, the timing is like that. Um, that was a big thing for me when that happened. Uh, and now, look, he sold his Hoopty Ferrari 488. Um, that's gone. He said he's selling. His guns are gone. Now, he did put up a title saying he's selling one million, his, his one million worth of jewellery. Now, if you had one million worth of jewellery, like... You know, and you wanted to stay in the Malibu mansion. We know you're renting it, so why not just sell one or two of them to keep you going for the rest of the year if it's fifteen thousand a month, like in order to sell them all? Like, I mean, just stuff doesn't add up. Um, obviously, you know, I'd say his, it's his merch that does well for him and stuff like that. Like, oh, fuck me, like, I, you know, I, I could only wish to be able to be, probably make whatever he's making. Like, I, I'm just a normal guy with a normal job, but. At the end of the day, it's still like the quality and products he's bringing out, like his line is from Alibaba and, and AliExpress and stuff like that. You know, paying $4 or $3, whatever it is for a product and rebranding it and selling it for 150 times what it's worth is absolute fucking lunacy. Like you shouldn't be doing that to people. It's not on. Um, I really don't condone it. The clickbait titles, the lies, it's just... It's not right, guys. I, I mean, look, if you're supporting, that's all in good. It's your own thing. You can do what you want. Um, I watched his video as well about him. He was driving out of his his Malibu mansion down the road. Uh, I think he was in his Mercedes or something. And, you know, another guy walked past. I won't repeat what he said, but it was pretty racist to, to that person. Like, and, and that was kind of like, I was going, I was just watching the video on what in the name of fucking God is he on about? Like, that's terrible. Like, you can't just, I, just stuff like that, like, you know? But that's new here, there. Um, I just think now he's after saying that he's starting, he's quitting YouTube to go and start this business with Tall Guy Car Reviews. He's not quitting YouTube. He'll still, like, I did look at Social Blade. Um, Social Bay just gives you a rough ballpark figure of what they're making, so I'm presuming he's making anywhere from one and a half to, to maybe two and a half thousand in that a month. Like obviously that's not going to be paying his bills. It's probably his merch. Um, the NFT thing, I, I really am. That's a that's a big big red flag for me. So non fundable token. Now I'm into my crypto guys. I I mean look, he was on about Shiba Inu. I have Shiba Shiba Inu. I mean, I, I'll be honest with you, I'd be lucky. Yeah, I, I wouldn't, I'm not going to get out of that until it makes me at least one or two million. And that could be another three or four years down the line, if we're lucky. If she and you were going to go into the metaverse and stuff like that, all been good. But for Organic to be going on saying, like, he's he knows his crypto and stuff, I doubt very much. I mean, I've got Time Wonderland staked 
that is no joke trying to stake that. Uh, you know, I would love to say it in how do you stake Time Wonderland. I've got uh, Titano, um, I've got XRP. I've got, my portfolio is pretty big, but they're not huge investments. You know, they're all long-term, like four or five years down the line. I, I'm literally just holding. And you know, the market caps on, on some of these are pretty small, but the projects behind them are really good. Like you have to look at the project of a crypto coin, of an NFT, you gotta uh, validate that it's actually genuine. The thing about NFTs is, from what I know, from what I read, is the blockchain actually says it's that person, but it's gotta have a community, a use for it, in order to be profitable or to make money off it. Paying a thousand dollars for an NFT, it's not gonna go nowhere, you're pissing your money down the drain. That's just my take on it. I mean, it's just, it's very, very dodgy is all I'm gonna say. Look, Ice Cream Vlogs has covered all this. There's a video about uh, him, um, as I said, on Spencer uh, Cornelius, I think his name is. He's, he basically uncovers loads and loads of scammers. Um, I just don't know. Look, God knows where organic is gonna end up in 2022. Uh, I mean, look, I'm not trying to rip him down or nothing, but I just don't like channels that say they're all this and make fake titles and and basically i've i've interviewed um life of heavy ice cream has covered this i've actually interviewed him people have watched the video he actually went away and did a collab with mr organic and he was scammed out of 1200 dollars uh by mr organic because mr organic didn't bother bringing his camera that he said he didn't do anything for life of Hemi, and you know that is not on taking people's money and not giving them back what they deserve is wrong in my books it's fucking it pisses me off i don't like it and i just think it's unfair that people believe that this guy is what he says when he's obviously not so i don't know guys let me know what you think in the comments below i don't want to go i could go on all day with this i'm sure i'm sure if i sat down and did a podcast with Ice Cream Vogs, or if I did a podcast with 1000 HP Media, or any other person about organic, it would go on for longer than the No Jumper podcast that he does. Just in all the stuff that's been going on, uh, him and Tall Guy, it, it's madness. Like, I mean, it just doesn't, it's just gonna be how the story is twisting and turning from going the PPPs now going broke so where is this going to lead off to i'm just curious to how this is going to turn out because I, i'm very intrigued now because he's been uncovered so much you know so let me know in the comments below guys what you think is going to happen to mr organic in 2022 uh, and what you think has been going on what you think is going to happen with the nft project and and all that kind of stuff i will read your comments and reply please guys no no absolute dickhead comments like if, if it's really bad i'm just going to delete it because i just we're just here to discuss. I'm not here to, to, to really be like an absolute asshole. I'm just pointing out stuff I've watched online from other facts from other channels and just giving my opinion. That's all it is. So thanks again, guys. Please do comment below. Smash that like button and please do subscribe for other content. I will definitely have a video out tomorrow. So until then, please stay safe. Peace out and keep it lit.